Hey, have you ever wondered about the prehistory of Tunisia? It's fascinating how ancient civilizations thrived in that region long before recorded history. Absolutely. Tunisia has a rich prehistoric heritage dating back thousands of years. One of the most intriguing aspects is the evidence of early human presence in the region. Archaeological findings suggest that Homo erectus lived in what is now Tunisia around one million years ago. Yes, and it's amazing to think about how these early humans adapted to their environment. The fertile lands around ancient rivers like the Mjurda River provided them with abundant resources for hunting and gathering. Definitely. As time progressed, different cultures and civilizations emerged in Tunisia. One of the significant periods is the Paleolithic era, characterized by the use of stone tools. The Aquilian culture, known for its distinctive hand axes, is one of the prominent archaeological finds from this time. Right, and during the Neolithic period, around 10,000 BC, there was a shift from hunting and gathering to agriculture. This transition led to the establishment of permanent settlements, allowing communities to develop advanced social structures and trade networks. The Neolithic era also witnessed the rise of early urban centers in Tunisia. One of the notable sites is Duga, which dates back to the 6th millennium BCE. This ancient city showcases the architectural prowess of prehistoric inhabitants, with well-planned streets and buildings. That's fascinating. I've read about Duga's well-preserved ruins and how they provide valuable insights into the daily lives of ancient Tunisians. It's incredible how these early civilizations laid the foundation for the rich cultural heritage of modern Tunisia. Absolutely, and speaking of cultural heritage, the prehistoric people of Tunisia also left behind remarkable artistic expressions. Cave paintings found in various regions depict scenes from their lives, showcasing their hunting techniques, rituals, and beliefs. Yes, those cave paintings are like windows to the past, offering glimpses into the mindset and creativity of our ancient ancestors. It's incredible to think about how they communicated their experiences and emotions through art, even in the absence of a written language. The Bronze Age marked another significant chapter in Tunisia's prehistory. During this period, around 2000 BC, metalwork and techniques became more sophisticated. The emergence of metal tools and weapons revolutionized various aspects of daily life and warfare. It's fascinating how advancements in metallurgy transformed ancient societies. With the ability to create durable tools and weapons, communities could enhance their agricultural practices, leading to increased food production and population growth. The Bronze Age also saw the emergence of trade routes connecting Tunisia to other regions in the Mediterranean. This exchange of goods and ideas contributed to the cultural diversity of ancient Tunisian societies. It's incredible to think about the interconnectedness of different civilizations even in those early times. Absolutely. And let's not forget about the Phoenicians. Their arrival in the coastal areas of Tunisia around the 9th century BC had a profound impact on the region. The Phoenicians were renowned seafarers and traders, and their influence can be seen in the development of Carthage one of the most powerful and prosperous cities of ancient Tunisia. Carthage played a crucial role in the history of Tunisia and the Mediterranean. Its strategic location made it a major center for trade and cultural exchange. The Carthaginians, with their advanced maritime skills, established colonies across the Mediterranean, contributing to the spread of knowledge and technology. The conflict between Rome and Carthage, known as the Punic Wars, is a significant part of Tunisia's prehistory. The struggle for dominance between these two powerful civilizations shaped the course of history in the region. The eventual destruction of Carthage by the Romans in 146 BC marked the end of an era, but also paved the way for the integration of Tunisia into the Roman Empire. The Roman period brought about immense cultural and architectural developments in Tunisia. Cities like Duga and El Gem flourished under Roman rule, showcasing impressive monuments like theaters, temples, and aqueducts. The Romans also introduced Christianity to the region, leaving a lasting impact on the religious landscape of Tunisia. Christianity indeed became a significant part of Tunisia's identity, and the region saw the construction of numerous basilicas and churches. The intricate mosaics found in these Christian sites are a testament to the artistic achievements of the time. It's incredible how these intricate designs have survived the test of time, offering glimpses into the lives of ancient Tunisians. The fall of the Roman Empire in the 5th century C marked another turning point in Tunisia's prehistory. 
the region witnessed the Vandal and Byzantine occupations before the Arab Muslim conquest in the 7th century. The Arab influence brought Islam to Tunisia, shaping its culture, language, and way of life. The Arab Muslim period ushered in the new era of architectural and intellectual achievements. One of the most iconic structures from this time is the Great Mosque of Kairouan, built in the 9th century. Its intricate design and architectural brilliance reflect the cultural fusion of Arab, Berber, and Islamic influences. Absolutely. The Great Mosque of Kairouan is a marvel of Islamic architecture and a testament to the multicultural heritage of Tunisia. The Arab Muslim period also saw advancements in various fields such as astronomy, medicine, and philosophy. Scholars and intellectuals from different backgrounds contributed to the flourishing of knowledge in the region. Tunisia's prehistory is truly a mosaic of diverse cultures, civilizations, and influences. From the early humans of the Paleolithic era to the sophisticated societies of the Arab Muslim period, the region has continuously evolved leaving behind a legacy that continues to inspire us today. It's incredible to think about the resilience and creativity of the people who inhabited Tunisia in prehistoric times. Their ability to adapt, innovate, and thrive in different environments laid the foundation for the rich tapestry of history and culture that defines the country today. Studying Tunisia's prehistory not only helps us understand our past, but also provides valuable insights into the complexities of human civilization as a whole. Absolutely. The study of Tunisia's prehistory is not just a journey into the past, but a window into the human experience. It teaches us about our shared heritage, the challenges our ancestors faced, and the innovations that shaped the course of history. By appreciating and preserving this heritage, we can gain a deeper understanding of our roots and foster a sense of connection with the people who came before us. Well said. Tunisia's prehistory is a treasure trove of knowledge and inspiration. As we continue to unravel the mysteries of the past through archaeology, research, and exploration, we gain a deeper appreciation for the complexity and diversity of human societies. It's a reminder that our history is not just a series of isolated events but a continuous, interconnected narrative that spans thousands of years and shapes the world we live in today.